with Holly Haven Homes and Keller Williams. I am here at Functional Health Centers in downtown Prosper today with Dr. Brandon Steffens. And uh, we just want to chat a little bit about what kind of services they offer and um, obviously the fact that you're downtown. Yes. And you have some road construction. Yes. And you're still open. We are. Okay, we are. We They're still really easy to get to. I know it looks scary, but come on down and check them out. Um, so tell us a little bit about what you guys do here. Um, it's obviously chiropractic care. I said yes. obviously, but we didn't tell them that yet. Yes. So uh, I'm a chiropractor. We've been here in this location in downtown Prosper for uh, since October of 2010. So we've been in Prosper for quite a while. We've been seeing the changes of Prosper growing and we're excited to see how, how it continues to grow. Yeah, absolutely. So what do you guys, um, what kind of services do you offer here in your, in your actual facility? So we, we are a chiropractor. Um, what we do that's a little bit differently than traditional healthcare and even a lot of chiropractors is we focus on what is the underlying issue um, as opposed to just chasing the symptoms, which unfortunately, uh, traditional healthcare, they just kind of chase the symptoms. Um, so tell me, tell me some of those three things, the one specifically that people don't know about. Yeah. So yeah, we treat patients of all different ages, anywhere from kids to senior citizens. Uh, we take Medicare, so we, we treat a wide range of patients. Um, Want to kind of talk about uh, some symptoms that patients may not have realized that we can help with. Uh, the most recent case that I had that was very interesting was of a nine, ten year old little girl uh, having some bedwetting issues. So obviously at that age, yeah, there's not an issue there, but at night, uh, there it would become a problem. And what we found is a few months back, she was doing gymnastics, very uh, active, and complained of a little bit of low back pain. Nothing serious, but had some low back pain. Shortly after that, the bedwetting you know, issues started. And so when I did my evaluation on her, where she was complaining of the lower back pain was the same area of those nerves that have an influence on the bladder. So yeah. during the day, it was fine, but at night, uh, there was enough pressure on those nerves that she wasn't able to control the bladder and she would have some bedwetting issues. So we addressed that and uh, made some significant changes with her. Yeah, that's one thing I think, um, you know, a lot of parents and kids, young kids Correct. struggle with. And, you know, I think many parents just go through, they just think it's kind of normal and it's kind of natural, especially, um, I know boys tend to have this a little bit more sometimes. Yep, it's a and more frequent. Even five, six, seven years old, and you're like, man, you know, they're gonna grow out of it. And, sure. and truly it could, it, could be they a chiropractic could. They situation. could be a chiropractic issue, could resolve on its own, okay. but uh, you know, it doesn't hurt to just have us uh, yeah. check it out and see if it is a musculoskeletal issue, yeah. uh, like in, in this case. Great. So what is, um, there's something else happening right now. Everybody I know, allergies and sinuses. Yes, springtime, sinuses, allergies, big issue here in Texas. So we've been seeing a lot of uh, patients and we've been able to make some really great changes. We'll, really work, uh, especially over the top part of the neck, can have a big influence on sinus drainage or their lack of. Okay. Uh, we do some work on the sinuses, adjust the ears if we need to, just to all help with drainage in patients. So right now, spring, fall, we see a lot of sinus issues, a lot of sinus cases. Yeah, I think a lot of people will be surprised to even know that that's an option. Chiropractic care, um, sure. of course we think of you know back and neck pain, sure. we think of you know, car accidents and other types of accidents, Absolutely. which of course you deal with as well. Um, but yeah, some of these other things that we just don't always put together and go, man, I could go to a chiropractor. I might get this, I yeah, feel absolutely. better. Uh, yeah. A third big thing that you do that a lot of people may not realize Headaches, migraines? Yeah, so, uh, you know, some patients, uh, you know, know that we can help with headaches and migraines, but we've been able to really make some changes lately with some uh, patients, some life-changing, where they just chronic migraines, whether it's monthly, a couple times a month, they've done, you know, uh, pain management, they've done injections, they've even done the Botox, and still nothing has gotten some relief. Yeah. So we've been able to see, is it a structural issue with these patients, and if it is, We've been able to make some life changes, you know, for those patients. I mean, they've been able to start functioning now, yeah. able to get out and about, feel like they're themselves again. So it's great to see those changes with those patients. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me today and telling us, you know, really what you guys do and, and that you're here. And so hopefully um, we can get some more local families. We're growing Absolutely. so fast here in Prosper. We that, are. You know, we have people every day that they don't even realize downtown is here. Correct. Um, especially with the traffic. They're scared of, you know, 
this construction so they kind of drive on by. So hopefully we can uh, get some new prosperites. Absolutely. Well, I'm, I'm glad you came uh, came by. I'm uh, you know always happy to let people know that we're here and always meeting more people here in the Prosper area. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Brandon. Absolutely. Thank you. Mm-hmm.